Seriously, fruits and vegetables, I've been doing this almost five years. I've been putting a lot of fruits and vegetables in my diet and it's made a huge difference. It really has. Um, I didn't have any major illnesses, but I've had a lot of little things like acid reflux and constipation and all that kind of junk. And everything I do now, activity-wise, running, bike riding, swimming, snowboarding, whatever I want to do, has increased. I and mean, I feel like a teenager again. Yeah, that part's good. But there is one issue I've been having, and I wanted your opinion on it. And that is, I've been growing a tumor on my arm. Tumor? A tumor on my yeah. arm. It's right there. Yeah. And I was wondering, what kind of fruits or vegetables could I take? That's a problem. To get that to go back down. That's a real problem. Won't go down? No. No matter how hard I If push. I'm sleeping, maybe. You know, I think that happens, that's from fruits and vegetables. That's actually causing it, so it's, yeah. are you saying it's it might, good? You might have a pear. Yeah. yeah One's a little bigger than the other. That's but a real peach, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, what, so you're saying I could just keep going with fruits and vegetables, and like if it gets bigger, is that well, good? Well, you know, if you eat enough fruits and vegetables, you get really scrawny. Okay. You tend to get really scrawny. Because you're getting away from Fruits and vegetables. Protein. Well, it's always scrawny vegans and scrawny raw fooders. Mm -hmm. And then you and then you wither up and dry like a prune or a yeah. raisin. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about it. It'll go away. Okay. That's good. I was I was scared. Yeah. yeah. I was a little nervous. Yeah. Feeling fits horrible. Right? Mm -hmm. I can understand. You get high off it, and I thought, well, maybe this is like a bad kind of high because you can get high off of drugs. You know. When I'm getting high off of fruits and vegetables, who better to check with than you? I don't know. I was never a muscle guy. Mm -hmm. I've never been bodybuilding, weightlifty, any of that sort of stuff either. Mm -hmm. and, and I sit at a computer, I, I work as a doctor, I sit at a computer all day or I'm talking to people all day. But I've noticed sort of the same thing has been happening. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about going to the doctor because I've got yeah, yeah. the yeah, yeah. thing okay, going yeah, on. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. like, right. it's there and I don't know what Okay, I'm not alone. Yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's a problem with raw food. Yeah. You eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And next thing you know, you're growing muscles from all the activity. You're yeah, doing. yeah. So you just kind of you just deal with it. You just flow well, with it. I mean, I think I think we need to just chill a bit and be more sedentary. And, you know, yeah. Maybe. Just relax. I mean, you seem pretty calm about it. Well, I've I've come to accept it. Okay, I just come to accept it. That you're gonna feel good all the time. And, uh, you don't have much to complain about. Like, what do you talk to people about? I don't have any scars to show people. Mm -hmm. Can't talk about my doctor or my medication patterns. Yeah. Or, you know, my next hospital visit coming yeah. up. I'm not, I got nothing to talk about. Right. So it yeah. almost sets you away from from regular people, I guess. I mean, <clears throat> I don't eat fast food. I eat instantaneous food. Yeah. You know, I'm like the only one I know. Well, I mean, I have some friends here at Woodstock eating instantaneous food with me, but when you go out in public and everybody just wants to eat fast food, it's so slow. I, I can't wait around for that. Yeah, yeah. I want to, I see food, I want to eat it right now. Right, right. It's a rush. Yeah, it is kind of. But when I go out in public, I, I just try to emphasize the similarities between me and others, you know. Best you can. Yeah, best you can. Yeah. Pretty much though, it's so funny because if I'm eating food, everybody wants to eat it. Yeah. So I don't even usually get to eat my own food. They really? say, oh, can, you know, if I make something nice and then and then they say, oh, can I try that? Can yeah. I, ooh, that's good. And next thing I know, I get nothing. Wow. And that's why I think we're getting so scrawny. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good example, huh? So it's almost like you're making other people into fruits and vegetables addicts. Yeah, it's yeah. a plan. Yeah. It's a sneaky plan. Yeah. Isn't it? It's a cunning like plan. It. Yeah. Just show them what it could be like. Right. The next thing you know, they all want it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they get hooked on it. And they come back for more. Well, I, what I do usually do is I give them the first ones for free. Mm -hmm. And then when they come back for That's more. That's an awesome technique. It's a very good technique. Really well. They start lining up. Yeah. And next thing you know, you, they're asked for different flavors. And there's so many, right? So many fruits you can give them. Wow. There's so many fruits. I mean, there's. I, mean, I eat 200 different fruits every single year. Wow. I, mean, I keep track of it 
sometimes, or I'll make a list once in a while just to see, and it's just like, yeah, it's easy 200 different fruits, easy. without particularly trying. I mean, they're in the grocery stores, I don't have to go seek them. Yeah, yeah. Just as the year cycles through, different things come into season, and yeah. I don't know if you even noticed the little pear tree that was up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, but did you see how small the pears were when we got here? Yeah. We had one rain in midweek, and they just went, <laughs> They're yeah. really looking ready now. Yeah. Next week that pear tree is going to give. Yeah. There's not going to be anybody here. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Well, that's funny. The grocery store, like the average shoppers, most of them will walk right past the fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. And they'll go down the cereal aisle. And they're skipping out on all those yummy drugs, you know? Yeah, the fruits and vegetables. I was in a grocery store a few months back and there was a girl, I don't know if she was 10 or 12 years old, somewhere around there. And Parents were very heavy set, and she was heavy set. You could see the pattern was going in a bad direction, but they were walking through the produce section, and the girl said, oh, can I have a pineapple, Mom? Can I have a pineapple? And the mom said, no, no fruit. Wow. So I, I, I'm assuming they knew something I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Because there I was, like, buying all kinds of yeah. fruit, just innocently buying fruit. So they must have known something. Yeah. I, I would have been tempted to stop her and ask her, you know, what, what's going on that I don't know about. Ooh, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Please, excuse me, ma'am, I just want to know why well, won't you give your daughter fruit. Yeah. That's so she won't get muscle. Right, or, right. Yeah. Are you concerned she might be slim and yeah. healthy or yeah. Because you get 18 sick days a year and you might as well use them. Use them up. Yeah, you might as well use them. You don't want to waste them. You don't want to waste them. I think that's healthy. a good point. Don't waste your sick days. That's mm. absolutely use them all up. We might have like a super productive society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bang them Be out. Be careful. Don't eat those fruits and vegetables. They're very they'll addicting. sneak up on you, and next thing you know, you start wanting more fruits and vegetables. Yeah. After a while, nothing else looks good to you. Either. Right. I think it's a very serious business. Yeah. All right, cool. So I don't have to worry about these these cancer bumps, man. It's not a tumor. Yeah. If you just ignore them, they'll go away. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. These fruits and vegetables. We you following the bug. <laughs> um, okay, fruits and vegetables. Thank you. I feel better. You know what? We don't have to have a talk now. I, you just cured me. <laughs> I was going to talk about my issue. <laughs> You just, fixed it. you just fixed it. And let me get my rubber gloves. Oh my goodness. Cut. <laughs>